living in Marblehead and having a chance to talk to people all the time about the Friends, I over and over again pick up this impression that they think it's for the arts, the extra, the music. And I want to say that even though that's included in the grants, the essential part of the Friends grants are to take it into the instruction, to make it innovative and creative so that our students are excited to come to school every day. Well, in first grade, we were studying um, Amazing Americans, and I picked Helen Keller. It was one of my favorite things at school. We had to study about people who were really famous and were amazing. So that's why we call them Amazing Americans. My favorite thing about the other classroom is reading stories and doing observations. This was my favorite part of the outdoor classroom. When I was in second grade, Vasta Trask came to our school, and then I got inspired by Trask made out of music. So uh, when I got home, I told my mom about this program, and then I just told her that I wanted to make trash. So she got some trash bottles out of the recycling, and then she told me to like, make whatever you want that's musical. When I was in fifth grade, people from the Museum of Science came in and taught us about wind, water, and temperature, and I learned a lot. I think that the important thing about the Friends, one of the important things, is that in my experience with that group, it has really evolved as the needs of the school system has evolved, have evolved. Meaning that in the 90s, the types of programs that were funded were perhaps more, quote, extracurricular than they have become over the years, and that's based on funding needs from within the school system. So perhaps now, they could be, they're more specifically associated with curriculum. So although dollars are extremely tight right now, because of the Friends, we have opportunities to give our students really important and exciting programs. Within the last 10 years since I've been teaching at Marblehead, our budget's really been cut almost 50%. It's like 47% since I started. Um, so we're at you know, a nuts and bolts kind of a budget where our consumables are what are our priority, not keeping up with technology and improving the technology that we have. So without friends, we really would be stuck kind of in a rut and, and not able to do some of these exciting things that kids really need to learn. And I think if you can get kids excited about science, that's really what matters. They may not want to major in chemistry, but they're going to participate in the learning experience much more if they're excited about what they're doing. When I interview teachers and try to attract them to come to our school, I always use the Friends as an example, that if they have innovative strategies that they've seen in the schools they've taught in before, or ideas they've heard from their own friends and peers, that they have an opportunity on their own to write a grant, get that money, and bring it into our school. When I was uh, in middle school, I got involved with uh, the Rebel Shakespeare Company, which um, unbeknownst to me was funded by a uh, Friends of the Marblehead Public Schools grant. Um, and it was really um, a really big part of my, my life um, growing up um, in, in middle school in particular. So we got kind of the reverse uh, introduction to Shakespeare. We learned to perform it before we ever started reading it. And, um, yeah, I, I can tell you that I think every one of the, uh, the kids that was involved in this um, learned to love Shakespeare. I did the musical at the high school all four years. I participated in Drama Fest one year, and I've been part of uh, Marblehead Luminescence uh, beginning my sophomore year, moving up, and all three have definitely changed <laughs> where I've gone in my life and who I am as a person, I feel like. With money given by the board, which was 
great opportunity because it opened so many doors for music students all throughout the high school to uh, participate in contemporary acapella, which is something a lot, not a lot of high schools get to do. I am aware that a lot of schools do cut budgets, and when they do, they have to cut the music and the arts programs first. I can't imagine what it would have done without the musicals or luminescence. It had been a totally different experience, and I would not be where I am today without them. The friends, when I look at how my, my Billy in particular has developed uh, and grown since his exposure to the uh, to uh, the, Shakespeare, this, the Rebel Shakespeare residency that was a friends uh, funded thing. Um, I feel that what I do is inadequate sometimes. I wish I could do much more for the friends. We keep cutting back on the professional development, on the innovative programs. And it's the innovative programs that make the kids excited to come to school. The friends fill in that gap. So each year that I've watched the grants, we have more grants asked for. We're also raising more money, thanks to the community that we have more money to give. And it's alive. You see it right away in the classroom. We are talking about the actual teaching instruction in the classroom that needs to go way beyond books, because that's not how kids learn. They learn books and all the things they can be engaged in. We need to have all of them. In turn, I find with teachers that I've hired, and I will be checking in on them a lot the first year, that the thing they say the most is how excited our teaching staff is about having the right to create their own innovative strategies in the classroom. And again, how sad it would be if people keep bringing ideas to the table and they say, we can't pay for those. And instead, we get to say, Write a grant to the friends. I'll back you on that.